BCOM Incorporated is managing 10,000 Ubuntu machines with Landscape, the Ubuntu systems management tool from Canonical. They include desktops, servers, virtual server instances, and cloud instances. And they're spread across multiple locations. BCOM has configured a custom repository that mirrors upstream, and a staging repository that allows automatic testing and validation of updates on a small number of integration machines prior to production rollout. So BCOM can mitigate risks including outages resulting from unexpected package changes. And it's Landscape that makes all this possible. Landscape provides a browser-based console that displays status information for all your machines. That's even more information than a skilled administrator could get in the terminal for one machine. But in Landscape, you see it for every machine you've got. Now, Let's see how Landscape manages security updates. Here, Landscape is showing details of all of BCOM's vulnerable machines. We can see all recent Ubuntu security notices with details of each individual vulnerability. And we can then filter to separate security updates and bug fixes. Direct access to the relevant Ubuntu security notice provides the administrator with vital context to the pending updates. As administrators, we can inspect the impact of each vulnerability by examining what machines are affected. We can determine what action to take from this very console view, selecting what machines to patch right away or decide to take action on our entire managed fleet, depending on the specific case at hand. So, let's start the update. That will take a few minutes. And as we remarked earlier, all the information we see in the console is sourced from standard Ubuntu components like apt or lshw, ensuring the consistency of your console view with what a troubleshooting admin would see in his terminal. Similarly, scheduling of automatic updates is supported. Here we can check the operation and capabilities of the various auto-update profiles we have set up and how they are assigned to different subsets of our organization we can define an auto-update profile applying to all laptops and BCOM sales department, defining how they will update during a weekend maintenance window, so we retain complete control over when our systems will be altered, avoiding interfering with our field team's day job. You can even do this with roaming devices like laptops that are not always connected to the network. As soon as they reconnect, Landscape will refresh status information and maintenance activity will take place subject to our pre-approved windows. OK, so it looks like the update has been successful. Now let's say for the sake of argument that a change in one of the updates is breaking the functionality of an application we are relying on. One of the updates was incompatible with an application. Luckily, Landscape can roll back any update to a previous version. To do that, we first select the problematic machines, then examine the downgrade options Landscape is resolving for us. We can even decide to take a different course of action, machine by machine, a granularity that may be helpful in resolving such an issue. And that's done. Dependency resolution is taken care of behind the scenes for you. As you can see, Landscape can dramatically reduce the complexity involved in managing Ubuntu at scale. In the coming videos in this series, we'll be showing you some of Landscape's other advanced features, including reporting on patch status, and audit reporting for compliance purposes. See you next time.